guys, kind of doing a new video uh, series here. My still primary focus is going to be cards, but uh, actually, really quick, I got to hop up and grab my knife. I know that uh, a lot of people kind of branch out and do other collectibles as well. I know Pokemon's a big popular thing. I don't do Pokemon, but uh, I do collect pops, as I've said in other videos. I haven't done anything with them, but uh, I will be doing kind of a toy. I kind of go out toy hunting the same way I go out card hunting. Um, I have certain stuff I like, Marvel, DC, and I'm, I know that people know that, uh, well, some people who collect pops would know that New York City Comic Con didn't happen this year, so what they ended up doing was releasing a lot of the uh, New York City Comic Con on what they call the Target Con or an online. Um, so you were able to get them there, and they came with shared stickers. So I ended up buying quite a few. This is one that I couldn't get um in store but was or at uh they sold out in the shopping cart but hot topic had them so super excited you can see right there it says 2020 fall convention limited edition this is nightwing i'm a huge batman fan so this was a really neat one um obviously if this isn't stuff that interests you guys definitely kind of kick through skip through uh you don't have to watch the video i know that a lot of a lot of my subscribers so far are cards but i also went out to target last night and was able to get my hands on the new Triceraton Infantry and Roadkill Rodney. These things are doing like 160 bucks online. I was able to actually score three of them and ended up selling two others to collectors. And then today I went out and I grabbed the Legends of uh, Deadpool and Negasonic Teenage Warhead from the movie. Now they're super, super well done. They're Hasbro. Uh, you get all the, the extra hands. You get some of the posables. Um, I'm an inbox collector, so I usually don't take my stuff out. But uh, yeah. I don't know, just kind of cool stuff. I don't know if anybody collects anything else. Definitely drop it in the comments below. Plus, I also, as you guys know, subscribe to BAM. I've done one box or so on here, I think, but I'm going to open these up. They're super neat. They're really inexpensive. I want to say they might be 30 bucks after shipping. And usually you're guaranteed an autograph item in each. I need your scratch off. It's kind of like a loot crate in a sense, but... I don't know. I, I enjoy it a little bit more because there's a little bit more fan element to it. So uh, let's see. So I'll show you guys kind of this week's. This is this week's art. This is this week's fan art. This is from. It doesn't say, but I'm pretty sure that's from God of War. Maybe I'm wrong, but I can check in a minute. Um, oh, that's actually the uh, other piece. Then there's. You guys will have to tell me, this came in really kind of gummed up condition, and this isn't probably anything I'd save anyways. Lucio's. I don't really know what that is. Total fat, 30 grams. So it's a cereal box, but this one's really, really dirty. Kind of came pretty beat up. Yeah, this one came really beat up, actually. It looks like it's meant to be put together, but... You know, this kind of stuff, that's knick-knacky to me. I kind of collect it for this stuff. Uh, this month's pin was really neat. It's Toad from Mario Kart, which was a huge, huge thing that I used to play when I was a kid. Nintendo 64. Uh, this week's fan print was... You guys will have to tell me if you know what that's from. I'm not totally sure I know what that's from, but it's an authentic BAM fan art card. 2219 to 2500. Uh, I'm not sure if that's the short print. And then actually I got two of these, which are pretty neat. If you scratch them off and you get three of the same anything, you win that prize. So let's scratch them off while I got you guys here. So this one says art print upgrade box. Ooh, no pin upgrade box. Amazon Echo Dot, so not that one. This one says art print upgrade box. Yep, no, bam. Free bam box. I don't think I've ever won on these, but Art print upgrade box, match three. So I didn't win on either of those. So that was the gamer box. Oh, yeah, and the autograph in here is... Uh, hmm. I don't recognize the game. I'm not a massive gamer. I mean, I, I play Skyrim a lot and that kind of stuff. The cool thing, these all come Beckett verified. They have the Beckett uh, on the back. So, And the neat thing they do in this, kind of like Loot Crate used to do, as they tell you, celebrity autograph and biggest eSport game of them all, uh, DOTA or Dota 2. I don't play dota 2 but this is john patrick lowry the voice of doom Earthshaker, pudge and more i don't play that so i'm not totally sure halloween coming we newbie dive is spooky side of gaming pyramid head from silent hill is what this is i don't do that 
Overwatch is Lucio's. I don't do that. And then, oh, that's Assassin's Creed. Uh, Valhalla looks to be the best one yet. So that's cool. I'm a big Assassin's Creed fan. So those are neat. Again, like I said, I, I kind of do it for the thrill and the chase of something cool. I also did get um, the other one that just came is the BAM Geek Box. And it looks like it's pretty big. So I'm hoping there's a Funko in here. Usually they do an autograph pop in, in one of these. I may be wrong. There may not be. Yep, there is. Oh, wow. This one's super cool. I'm not sure if it's who I think it is, but so here's a here's the fan art print. Super cool. Dwight as Recyclops from the office. Super, super, super cool. Huge office fan. I did get another BAM card. I don't know if I gotta level up. Hold on, bud. Here is what well, looks like Gilbert Godfrey. Collectible enamel panel. I'll have to see who that is. So those are the two. BAM Gamer, BAM Geek. Uh there is the art print, oh, it's the dude. <laughs> it's cool, and it's out of 2200. There's the artist up on top. It's just the dude abides in his glasses. Huge Big Lebowski fan, very, very cool. Um, I won't show you the pop yet, but I will get the box, the cereal box that's in here out. I'm guessing that's uh, Cheeky Owls. You guys will have to tell me that's probably gonna be uh, Cheeky Owls. Pear extra brown sugar, white, all doing it. It says wizarding, so maybe it's Harry Potter. I'm not totally sure. But the Thanos, I got a Thanos pop. And it's autographed by, it says John C. And the cool thing is these all come with the protectors on them. This is the Thanos holiday, which I actually don't think I have and think I was going to get. But no, I'm not going to get it because I got it autographed. Um, I got to see who it's signed by. So let's see. So John C. is what I'm guessing... When it comes to video games and animation, there's only one, and that is One True Mad Titan. Isaac C. Singleton. Does that say Isaac? No, it doesn't say Isaac. It says... So this is signed by... Hold on, bud. My son's hitting me. Um, oh, cool. They had the Venomized one. Or when it comes to video games and animation, there's only One True Mad Titan. That is Isaac C. Singleton Jr. Thanos, along with having notable roles in anger management, Pirates of the Caribbean, and Deadpool. Singleton has given voice to Thanos consistently since the early 2000s. Check out to see if you got the Venomized Thanos or the Holiday. Hand signed by Singleton on location at BAM. Well, wow, that doesn't look like Isaac. <laughs> Isaac C. Singleton Jr. So I'll have to look him up. Uh, it would be cool if it was signed by Josh Brolin. Um, I'd like to get one signed by Josh Brolin. Who did Thanos in the Avengers movies. But this is super cool. Um, you know, the voice of Thanos. I'm assuming it's from... It's, it's said from early 2000s, so I'm assuming it's from video games and that kind of stuff, but I'll have to pop that open. But it is Beckett certified. It all comes all signed up on the back. Um, so very, very cool. Like I said, these are just kind of really neat collector's items. Not normally stuff, you know, this isn't stuff that I would be able to get myself. I don't really do much convention. I've done Comic-Con a couple times, uh, just down in Rhode Island, down in Providence. Um, it's a good time. I mean, it's it's extremely fun. It's it's a different different area, but it's uh it's pretty neat just to be able to walk around there. Tons of talented artists and that kind of stuff. Like I said, that is cool. And they have their own uh, pop uh, thin cases. Oh, this goes on the bottom. Hold on, bud. And then the fan art pin is M Night Shyamalan's Glass Trilogy it was one heck of a mind bender that took nearly twenty years of us. To fully see between Unbreakable Split and Glass. So this is an M. Night Shyamalan character. I don't actually know what he is from Glass, the Glass trilogy. Yeah, I don't recognize that. Uh, the fan art we obviously know was the Big Lebowski. Super, super cool. Dude abides. The artist select card, as I told you, was Recyclops from Dwight. Uh, Dwight Schrute. And the prop replica was we couldn't send you to Hogwarts, so we thought you'd... Bring a little taste of Harry Potter's world to you instead. So very, very cool. So we ended up getting two pops, two really cool pins. Um, a bill from Easy Pass. <laughs> Gotta stop driving through the Easy Pass lane. <clears throat> so, oh, I didn't scratch this off, but. Bam. Bam. Ah, thought I got one. PlayStation 4, free band box, free band box. Nope, only two. 
two or three, so. I'm over on those. But still, very cool, guys. I know this might not be everybody's cup of tea. I do love to collect their stuff. I don't usually keep the cereal boxes. If there's anything on here, people see that they really like, that, you know, if they're big Harry Potter fans and they think they'd put this to use, let me know. I'll throw it in a shipping envelope, mail it to you. Uh, I'll probably keep the big Lebowski. I really like that. Um, the event, uh, Assassin's Creed print, I really like. These are all autographed by the artists, which are super cool. I'll have to get a better camera shot for these. And then I don't know much about Dota 2, but... Uh, I know you guys do, so if you guys know who this is, who autographed this, and this is something you'd like, let me know. I'm definitely willing to give it away. And like I said, you get your two prints and your autograph uh, of Isaac Singleton. So very cool. Like I said, I'm going to be doing a little bit more of the... I'm not probably going to be filming going into Target and that kind of stuff. I know a lot of people do that, but I will be filming kind of my finds of, of the week for... Hold on a sec, bud. Okay. Yeah, so I'll be filming kind of my uh, finds of the week when I go out. I like to look for the NECA toys. Uh, very hard to find. Uh, I know that they just put out a Biff and a Back to the Future. Um, I'm in an action figure junkie group, which uh, last night I was actually able to post that I had a couple figures in my cart. was curious if anybody wanted them. And of course, I got four or five messages right away that people were like, oh, we can't find these. So I sold them at half of what eBay was doing and people were extremely happy. So... Yeah, thanks for tuning in, guys. I know this is something kind of deviating. This is still zero below cards. Uh, I'm waiting for the Pete Alonso top specialty set to come in. And uh, if anybody has Mosaic football, let me know. But we'll be looking to open some. All right, guys, take care. Thanks.